Hello my friends, so I'm asked, answering a question from a viewer of mine named Tubalfex, Tubifex God. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct, so stick around. Tubifex God. Hi, I love your videos and I wonder if you would do a video about magical ethics from a Wiccan elder's viewpoint because I've seen so few videos done by those who have walked the path for a number of seasons. As a result, we get people like this guy pitching his wares to vulnerable youth who just suck it up. While he is not a Wiccan, but a Satanist, I am curious what another Wiccan would say about this video. It makes me cringe just thinking about the repercussions of what he's proposing. Yikes. Thanks, and blessed be. And then there is the link to the video. So, let's see who this person is and what they believe and what he's selling. That's the beauty of, of everything that I do at Become a Living God is, is, you know, I'll have my own little um, twist or my own little uh, additions that I'll make. I'll have my own focus. You are about to learn secrets that most people will never know about godlike power. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm EA Coetting creator of the most powerful occult movement in the world called Become a Living God. But the method is the same. You can utilize the method for anything. You can take any of my demonic summoning rituals, you can take any of my God form assumptions. Bend the singularity, descend to me, descend to me now, descend to me now, descend to me now. Anything that I've done and apply it to any spirit that you want to, it's a template. It's a template. You take that template and plug in the variables. So this gives you an understanding of who this person is. So this viewer's question is a really good one. But first of all, I think that I should really clear something up because I don't want this to perpetuate. I am by no means a Wiccan elder. I have not earned that title. People like this guy. I have met at least a half a dozen people like him throughout my life. One person uh, who I knew way back in the day, we got into it. He was a Satanist. He followed Anton LaVey when Anton LaVey was alive in San Francisco. And we got into all kinds of discussions about morals and ethics and threefold law and karma and this and that and this and that and this and that. And to be quite honest, the guy who I knew, we were good friends. You know, we went out, we had good times with each other, we had similar friends. And all in all, he was a really good guy. There was nothing morally wrong with him. He had a different perspective than I did. And he had justifications for it. And he had, um, he saw the world in a very primal state. And he had a different perspective than I did. And understanding his perspective of things really helped me to develop my own approach to morality and ethics and help to strengthen and mold them. And the best thing that I can say is that people like this, well, in, in, for specifically E.A. Coating, which is his name, and I read a little bit of his background of where he comes from and what he's doing, and he is really selling what he thinks will appeal to other people. And to a certain extent, he's correct. There are people out there who will buy into all of this and believe that you merely only need to do these simple things and you will gain incredible power and be able to manipulate people and get wealth and sex and everything you want in life. And people are buying it. 
he gives a lot of really good information. In particular, one of the things that he tells you or tells his viewers is that once you've done a spell, be confident that it has worked and essentially don't look back on it. And I agree with that. I think that if you are going to perform a ritual, you need to have the confidence to understand that once you've done it, you've done it. It's going to work. And you can just let it go and have confidence that that ritual is going to work. The other thing that I that he mentioned, which I think is some good advice, is to uh, really train your your mental faculties to strengthen your mag your ritual. Because I think a lot of people believe that you buy this candle and you get this stone and you get this herb and you do it on this day at this time and you get all of these things together and those things are going to cause whatever it is that you want to happen to happen. That has not been my experience. My experience is all of these things help. They help you to focus. They help all of these things. And on a subconscious level, you are kind of getting all of your ducks in a row and you're focusing your attention on this. But it comes from your intention and your will and your mental strength. And you put it into this and you make it manifest and you are confident that it is going to happen and you let it go. But when it comes to morality and ethics, people like to say, oh, well, there's black magicians and there's white magicians, and this defines a black magician, and this defines a white magician. And that is simplifying everything down to this binary on and off position that we've been trained in Christianity for hundreds of years to believe. And the truth of the matter is that each individual is much more complex than that. I would like to say that there are shortcuts and there are easy ways to accomplish something. And know thyself and understanding one's shadows is not this basic thing of, you know, understanding the darker aspects of ourselves. It's understanding how stupid we can be. It's understanding how petty we can be. It's understanding how jealous we can be. It's understanding all of these things that are, that don't help us at all. They actually restrict our growth as individuals and as people. And these are the things that are our shadow self. And these things will manifest if we have not come to grips with them. And it's not this almost romantic image of, um, of uh, a darkness inside of us. It's not that. It's these really petty, stupid little things that we decide to hold on to and cling to and allow to manifest in our lives and doesn't do us any good. If you want to just buy a spell to have someone bent to your will, and this is what you want to do with your energy and your time, then what is, what is going to stop you from doing that? Is the morality police going to stop you from doing that? There's no external force. There should not be any external force from stopping you from doing that. If that is what you really want to do, if you want to bend someone's will to your own desire for whatever reason you have inside of yourself, you could have a hundred people, a thousand people, a million people telling you that's not right. And you're still going to do it. So what I would prefer for people to collect or gather and nurture inside of themselves is understanding that that sort of power 
is pointless. And once you come to that understanding of being able to accomplish that is pointless, then you're not going to do it. But until you actually come to that understanding of your own free will for yourself, you are always going to wonder if you can do something like that. So you could play the scenario out in your mind. What would it be like to be able to do that? If it's something that appeals to you, go ahead, do it, find out what happens. If you play the scenario out in your mind and you realize, wow, you know what, that's actually not what I want to do, then congratulations, you're a human being just like the rest of us. So there are people like this in the world. And the best thing you can do is to understand that the people who are buying that, that's what they want. And he's selling it to them. And you can't really blame him for it. You really kind of have to blame the buyer. He's just, he's just putting it out there saying, hey, look, you want this? Give me some money for it. And there are people who are buying it. It's actually kind of funny to me. And for those of us who pursue the paths that we, th we pursue, we know that there's something greater that we are wanting to accomplish with our practice. And that is what we want to achieve. And you can get lost in those little things that really don't mean anything. So anyhow, I hope this makes some sense. Uh, thank you to Reflex God and bless you. Who he's selling his who he is 